Okay, so uh, happy Friday. Um, what I've done here is I've taken a Chico Behringer mixer and I have um, decided to try to experiment around with uh, just feedbacking. So basically what I've done, let me see if I can remember what I did here is I got um, the control room out going into a, um, a VCA and then the VCA will be going back out and it'll be going into the mixer. So as you can see already right here, we're gonna be recycling noise. Um, same sort of thing with, um, well, which one is it? Uh, oh, this guy right here. Main out is going into another VCA input and then going back into the second one right here. Um, then I just have one that's going from one main out to the, um, the uh, fourth input. So basically what this will do is it's going to recycle sound and cause um, feedback, which um, is going to sound somewhat brutal. So for the VCAs that I have here, I am controlling them with an oscillator from my uh, brand new VCOB. Um, it's just going to be a sine wave. So what I've done is I've programmed an arpeggio in with um, my uh, lovely MIDI converter here, the... Uh, blinking one obviously. And uh, just to give you a sample, here's a raw um, of just the VCO what it sounds like. Turn that up. So that's what's going to be controlling the VCA. So it's gonna you know, basically be ring modulating, I guess that'd be. Um, so here is the mixer. And as you can see, no noise is going through, but we have it down to zero. Let's just um, start with uh, turning it up a little bit. So right now it's kind of stuttering. The reason for that is if you look at the equalizers, I have the lows on. This is gonna be very vital in getting good sounds out of it. So right now this is just a sine wave, opening and closing the VCA for the feedback. So let's see what happens when I turn down the low levels. Keep in mind, this is just a sine wave. And now I've gotten it with this. Just as a reminder, these random notes that are being spit out are, well, they're random, I just basically gave you the answer. It's this, so all those little twists that you get in the notes and the pitch kind of make it have an arabesque sound is just the feedback glitching.
try. Let's just try this. Hope you enjoy. Um, hope it brings uh, a lot of fun back into your cheap, shitty Behringer mixer that you bought. Um, oh, I mean, they're not that bad, but anyways. So just to reiterate what I did here, since I presume that if anyone finds this remotely cool, they'll be asking me once again. Um, what we have here is I'm using these two VCAs right here. This one's going to be the envelope, which I failed to mention the first time, but if we'll follow the yellow of the main out, it goes into the first VCA and then, yeah, first VCA, then the blue one, um, the out for the VCA goes into mixer two. And I kind of, you can kind of just really tweak around with this. It's very delicate with um, different sounds, so just depend on all the volume levels. The EQ is most fun to mess around with. So headphones two, oh wait, that's actually just going to the... Uh, the uh, regular VCA, not the feedback one. Um, which one's the other one? Oh, yeah. Control room out, going into the second VCA, and the second VCA out, going back into mixer one. Here I have the, um, which one is it? I have the effects out, which you can't really see. That's the effects out. It's going in three, four, so when I tweak around the effects knob, it's going to uh, make some cool noises, as well as the main out um, going into the three, four as well, so that when I mess around with these guys with the balance and the feedback, it will create some cool noises. And then, um, yeah, the phones is just the main output, which I have going into my lovely Submix 7, and then that going into just a regular VCA, which is being controlled, you know, standard shit. Uh, so hopefully uh, this uh, explains it and you enjoy it. <laughs> 